Um, now to this. During, we have a guest coming up, so I want to move this along. During the White House briefing yesterday, Deputy Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders criticized the media for its coverage of the Trump administration and what she called the Trump-Russia hoax. After mentioning a CNN article that was recently retracted, she got, a tense, she got into a tense back and forth with one White House reporter. If we make the slightest mistake, the slightest word is off, it is uh, just an absolute tirade from a lot of people in this room. But news outlets get to go on day after day and cite unnamed sources, use uh, stories without sources, have, uh, you know, you mentioned the Scaramucci story so they where they had to have reporters resign. Come on, you're inflaming everybody right here and right now with those words. You, you, this administration has done that as well. Why in the name of heavens, any one of us, right, are replaceable, and any one of us, if we don't get it right, the audience has the opportunity to turn the channel or not read us. I think I you think, have been elected to serve for four years at least. There's no option other than that. We're I here think, to ask you questions. Right. We're here to provide the answers. And what you just did is inflammatory to people all over the country who look at it and say, see, once again, the president is right and everybody else out here is fake media. And everybody in this room is only trying to do their job. Well, I, I just I, I disagree completely. First of all, I think if anything has been inflamed, uh, it's the dishonesty that often takes place by the news media. And I think it is outrageous for you to uh, accuse me of inflaming a story when I was simply trying to respond to his question. And joining us wow. now is the reporter you saw just there who took part in that exchange, executive editor for the Sentinel newspapers, Brian Karam. Brian, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Brian, 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 looks, well Brian looks very shook up. Uh, yeah, by his tell. encounter yesterday. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> Brian, I actually heard you on Hardball last night saying something I think we all suspected to be true, which was that this was a long time coming. This has been something you've been watching and covering this administration for six months now and watching how it treated the press and the relationship there. Um, just elaborate a little bit more about what you wanted to say yesterday if you had even more time. Well, the big thing is, is it's very disingenuous for the White House to do what they did. First of all, that was the first first on-camera briefing in, what, in, in more than a week, and she took the opportunity, first thing off the bat, to go after the media. She was trying to go after CNN specifically and the media in general. We've been called the enemy of the people in that, from that White House. We've been told that we're fake news. We are bullied and browbeaten every day, and I pretty much have had enough of it. I mean. Uh, there's really only two ways to deal with a bully. You can either turn him to your friend, I don't think that's a possibility, or you can let him know exactly what's up and that you're not going to take the bullying anymore. And we can't take the bullying anymore. It's, uh, it's undermining the Fourth Estate. It's undermining the First Amendment. The reporters that I know in that room, even Breitbart, those people are responsible. And for, for the government to sit there and undermine essentially what is a very essential checks and balances in the system, it's disheartening. It's unnerving. It's, it, I can't take it anymore. Yeah. Well, I, it might nuts. even be more than that. It may be more than disheartening. That's my gut. But Mike Barnacle, take well, it. Well, I, I agree right. it's more than disheartening. I think it's, it's, it, what it speaks to is dissolving the independent media. And that's what the, it, it's trying to co opt the media, make us, if we don't print what they want or broadcast what they like, then we're automatically fake media. And what was funny about it is Sarah sat there yesterday and asked us to look at a video, and she wasn't even sure the video was vetted and was factual. But if factual, oh man, it was bad. And I mean, so you're promoting in essence, <laughs> false media and accusing the rest of us of being false media. Even making so, up your own Time Magazine cover. So, even, even making yeah, up yeah, Time, Time Magazine, magazine cover. cover. That's so, 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 Brian, my belief is that this is a premeditated strategy of the White House. This is not something off the cuff. This is not something that comes up with an occasional piece that they deem to be offensively wrong to them, to their point of view, whatever. This is a premeditated anti journalism strategy that I fear 
has taken some hold in this country. Do you I buy agree into with that? You. Totally. I agree with you 100%. It's one of the few strategies I've seen from this White House. And it has been ongoing. And look, I don't lump everybody in with that. They've done some things that are incredibly open, adding Skype to, uh, to their press briefings, uh, bringing in members of the cabinet for briefings. But at the same time, when the President of the United States, even this morning, is tweeting out fake media, and telling us we're the enemy of the people. He's inflaming the very people who got him in office. He's speaking to his base, and he's trying to undermine the very essence of what we do. And that's not good for this republic. It's not good for this country. It's anathema. It's got to be stopped, and we have to stand up to it. And more of us have to stand up to it every day. I can't, I, it's, you know, someone joked with me last night, do you think they'll pull my press pass? I hope not, but I hope others will, you know, stand up and, and be counted as and well. And stand with you. Brian Karam, th thank you. Amen. Thank you, Brian. To everything you said. Casey, stay with us. Still ahead on Morning Joe, the president of Planned Parenthood, Cecile Richard, weighs in on the fight over health care, plus one of the Democrats' leading voices, Senator Dick Durbin. But first, Republican Senator Ron Johnson didn't like the bill and didn't like the secretive process behind it. How he is reacting this morning now that a vote on his party's plan has been delayed. We'll be right back. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.